What's up, people of the world? It's your girl, Lala. And your boy, Siobhan. And you are listening to... Talk That Shit. With the Melvin. <laughs> Is that going to be a staple now? Oh, you better stop it. Is that going to be a staple now? It's going to be a staple now. Oh, God. You it's can, a staple, my friend. What's this day 10 of us being quarantined? Day too now? damn many. How about that? <laughs> She's going crazy out of her world. It's How not you even doing? that I'm going crazy, man. You, this shit is just... It's like, what? Who would have ever thought like this would be our life right now? I know, right? Um, everybody's just crying about this. Uh, are we going to get help? It's been eight days, bro. Oh, you talking eight. about like financial help? Are we going to get help? It's been eight days. I mean, a lot of people are banking on that. I mean, some people, it's understandable. Some people are just being ridiculous. I saw, like I said, I saw a post yesterday saying, hey, can you let me hold $250,000 until my sick check come? <laughs> <laughs> it was like a sick check. <laughs> my coronavirus. Let I me move. Hold on. Let me move this monitor to uh, the front. So okay. I don't have to keep looking at you guys. Yeah. Are you, is uh, coronavirus stuck in your head just like us, like with uh, Cardi B? Coronavirus. It's just so funny. Coronavirus. You're ugly. So, yeah. So, other than that, how you been, baby? Well, I mean, we live together, so I mean, I would hope that you know how I've been. I mean, besides me winning a lot of stuff in Nerf guns <laughs> and Jenga. And twice. You lost in Jenga twice. <sighs> you also lost in the Nerf target practice <sighs> game three times. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. To, hear, us- to hear all this madness, this is... this. <sighs> This is a lot of madness. What's a lot of madness that what you you're that you right lose now. all the time at everything to me? No, no, no. Name no, one time no. where you won. No. Yesterday. Boy, stop. Yesterday. Wait, wait, hold on. Before we go on, we need you guys to smash that like button and smash that sub button so you can get more of these. Talk that shit with the Melvins. Smash the like button, please. Where's that like button? Is it where? <laughs> <laughs> I just hit the like you button. Wow. Wow. So you can get all the updates from when we putting stuff out there because we know you guys are bored out your mind and you definitely want to be talking shit with the Melvin. So what are we talking about today? Because we need all the time to talk about this. <laughs> all the time. We are talking about. So actually, one of our listeners sent me this question on Facebook. Mm-hmm. And the question was, does your childhood affect your um, relationships like later on in life? Whether and this could be friendships and like intimate relationships as well. Yes. Um, You want to start? I think you should, because my point is going to be probably way longer than yours. So. No, that's not true. That's not true. <sighs> I'm, I mean, are we going to are we going to? Tell what we feel, or we're gonna read some of the, the responses. I mean, I can read got. a few responses. Yeah, read let some me, of the responses first, so we can get them on there, and you know, get it out the way. That's less, but mine's is kind of long. Mm. It's it's easy. I don't even think we have enough time. We've been doing a 35, 45 minute podcast. I don't think we have an hour and a half. We'll see. I don't even think we have enough on our cards. So I got 20 comments. 20 comments. <clears throat> Boom. Thank I'm just, you for coming. I'm just going to I'm just going to read them like straight down. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say names. I'm just going to read them straight down. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. For show. Yes. Yeah. Here goes the one comment that makes no sense. Really? No. With an exclamation point. <laughs> you make your life what you want it to be. It's uh-huh. called change. We're going to come back to that. Uh-huh. Um, next comment. Yeah, even when you think it doesn't, it sneaks up on you, uh, sneaks up on your ass later down the line. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, definitely yes. yes, 100%. Hell yeah, yes, yes. I quit a girl because she loved green bean casserole. <laughs> I had an incident <laughs> when I was a kid. Um, and then this same person also commented again and said, We all get those things. From childhood that we ref- that we refuse to put up with as adults in any situation. Yes. I wish my wife would tell me no ice cream for breakfast. Well, now I'm finna have it for brunch on the way to court on the way to the courthouse. Don't tell her I said that. Oh. And then another man says yes, um, no for me, but I think the women that I've dealt with for sure. Um, most deaf, just mm-hmm. a little. I think mostly affects your confidence. We'll also come back to this comment because I responded to this person. Yes. Um, and then lastly, uh, most definitely. So for the majority, 
everybody thinks. 98%. Right. 98% think, yes, yes. It definitely, your childhood definitely affects your um, adult life relationships. Yes. So. So you go ahead, husband. I'm going to start because I'm going to say yes. Mm -hmm. um, there's been tons of things that happened in my childhood that um, that definitely made me a worse person. As far as like my some some things that I that, that I've done, some things that I've I've said, some or some of even, your ways, yeah, some of my ways are definitely because of how I was treated or what I went through when I was a child. Um, if my mom is listening to this, please don't uh, get offended for this. But my mom praised the hell out of me. You know, everything was. You're doing amazing. You came in third place. You're still number one. You're still this. You're still that. My mom never really gave me tough love. And by the time I got to 18, 19, Am I 20. In focus? Yeah, you in focus. Am I? You got your glasses on? Are, they, are they working? I don't mean to cut you off, but are go they? ahead. But uh, yeah, so it was really hard for me to, to accept a failure when I was... Mm -hmm. at the age of too damn old too damn old and receiving failure because i've been doing everything in the best eyes of people for such a long time that nobody even told me that's why i said that if my dad would have came in my my life a little bit sooner, early, sooner mm -hmm. you know um he would have definitely made he up definitely given you that tough love yeah like the, sure. stop being so damn sensitive like why do you care about this certain stuff why do you care what this person thinks mm -hmm. like don't do this and don't do that. You know, it's it's the little things that the men teach you or somebody that of the other sex can teach you about certain things. So, yes, it definitely affect me being older because there's no reason why I'm so damn sensitive about certain <laughs> stuff. You know, well, there's it, no but there's no listen. Yeah. Go ahead. OK, because. Before you knew you were that sensitive, you didn't think you were that sensitive. Yeah, it took for right. me to come and tell you that you were very sensitive. Yes, but, but even, hold up, hold before. Hold on, I didn't. You didn't even let me finish my thought. I gotta talk my shit though. No, let okay, me finish my thought real quick. Okay. Dang, it's nothing wrong with being sensitive. <sighs> But when you're extremely sensitive, is yes. when it becomes an issue. When everything. And when I say everything, everything to the point of like, yo, you missed a hair when you were brushing your hair. That <laughs> shit shouldn't like. Why? Why we ain't got no frosted flakes? Okay, but what that got to do with brushing your hair? I'm saying being sensitive because now I have an attitude because we ain't got no more <laughs> frosted flakes. Like that's the, that's the stuff that my dad would have been like, what the fuck? Are you really tripping? Right. There not being no frosted flakes. Right. Oh, I can't believe this person said this to me. And it's like, who cares? I want to know why you don't like me. Yeah. And that's one thing my dad told me. He said, everybody's not going to like you. And that stuck hardcore with me. He was like, yo, why do you care what people think? Why do you care how people think, like, how you look or how you this or how you mm -hmm. that? You know, because I always wanted to be that cool kid, you know, buy the expensive jerseys, have and all it was this still shit. lame. Yo, relax. Mm -hmm. I wanted to have all the expensive jerseys. <laughs> I wanted to have the jerseys that nobody had or this or and that. And you had them and you were still lame. Uh, listen. The, the the biggest thing my dad he was like yo you on the bus <laughs> like you fly as hell on the bus on the bus Loser. like you got a seven hundred dollar jacket on but you on the bus talking about some back door please that's a philly joke <laughs> back door dickhead <laughs> open the back door <laughs> okay <laughs> all my philly people out there are probably laughing their ass off right now cause that's how it be you'd be okay. like damn man but yeah you know um i really wish that um some of the things i picked up from being raised by women don't say that don't say that bullshit what do you mean don't say that because now you have implied that because you were raised by women is why you were so sensitive. No. Well, okay, certain. so then you need you need to clarify. Okay, let me let me because it's women it's, it's women out there harder than a lot of you niggas. Okay, that's true. Uh -huh. now, you you like that line? Where's yeah. that from? Bars. What's that from? What you mean? That's from Jay Z. Oh, okay. <laughs> Should I go bars? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just no. But I'm what I'm trying to say is the fact that um by having both parents in my life it could have been like go talk to your dad about that 
instead of being like, well, this is how mm. rather me seeing it and not being explained why this is a certain way you you make your own um, assumptions on why certain things are the way they are. But that's not really what it is. It's because you see it and you think it's like that. You get what I'm saying? Mm-mm. You don't get what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Jesus Christ. Kids. Um, what I'm trying to say is the fact that if somebody doesn't explain it to you, then you think it's one way, but it's an actual another way. I'll come back to that. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out, okay, because what you said was that pretty much being raised by women. No. Go that ahead. is what you said. Go ahead, go ahead. Being raised by women is why you're so fucking sensitive. No, what I'm trying to say is the fact that when, when uh, I'm not going to say women, my mom and my grandma, okay. they they have sensitivity <laughs> oh, no. high levels, you know? and it's, I don't think it's that. Then what is it then? I don't think it's that because your mom or they, neither one of them give a shit if people don't like them. They don't care. Like, yeah. like uh. they'll confront, like, if it's a friend. Yeah. But if it's just, like, people, they're like, oh, bitch, I don't know you. I, like, I don't care. They definitely have that. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it was different when you were growing up. But from what I've learned about them, they don't they don't care about what people think. Um, But also, I think what you're trying to say mm-hmm. is please, that. <laughs> please help me. Please help me. <laughs> I think what you're trying to say is that. Um, had you not been praised so much for the stuff that you were doing, even when you did wrong. Yes. And when I say even when you did wrong, I mean like, um, I, not to put you on blast, but I just recently looked at his like, uh, elementary grade school report cards and things of that nature. Dis- and disclaimer and, a lot of the teacher comments were like, oh, he's talkative, like very talkative. Yes. Or he doodles or Still a dope student. he's doing this, that, and the other. He's not focused. He would be better off if he would be on time for school mm-hmm. or, you know, things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but then before reading all of these comments and seeing these report cards and stuff, it was like, oh, he was such a great student. student yeah. He did this. And, oh, yeah. my God, they loved him. And I'm not saying they didn't love you, but my thing is. I still got in trouble. It wasn't so much even about being in trouble. It's the fact that you had all this other shit surrounded by they love him. Why wasn't that brought to the forefront? Why was that left out? Uh, yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like had that not been your whole life growing up, uh, coming into your adult life, it wouldn't have been like, well, they don't like me. Yes. But I, I don't understand what I did. Tell me why you don't like me. Tell yeah. me why you cheated on me. It's like, who gives a fuck? Yeah. Fuck you. You cheated on me. Like, bitch, that's it. Like, I need to know why you cheated on me. Yeah, like, what did I do wrong? And it was like, everything just... Like, if I I told him, like, okay, let's say eight years ago, Mm -hmm. I told him, um, I don't like your beard. He's gonna be like... Why? It grows like this for a reason. (laughs) I don't care. And he does like that, and it's like, you could tell that person's offended by that comment, and it's like, but why are you so offended? I'm just telling you, like... I don't like it this way because it's my beard and you're supposed to like it. <laughs> like, why are you so me? like, why does that hurt your feelings so much? And it, I feel like that came from never having people tell him like, nah, that ain't cool. Or that ain't no, no, that don't make sense. Why you rocking that way? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, that's why my, my dad always be like, uh, um, that's what my dad was always, was saying uh because <laughs> he asked to play the game i see <laughs> hey chum he can't hear you bro. yeah i guess downstairs right okay cool um that's why my dad used to always be like get off that titty get off the titty and i'd be like what, what, what are you talking about you own that titty get off that titty and pop like, the titty pop off the titty off and stop burying her and i'd be like what is he talking about she just loves me but no she was actually babying me and it wasn't so much that she was babying you you were just used to being babied yes everything so i feel like everything that your mom said you took you took hold of because it was like she always 
told me I was doing right. She yeah. always praised the things I was doing. So she's always going to tell me that that's right. So yes. that's what I'm going to hold on to. I'm not going to listen to my dad who, and no offense, just just came back into my life, like permanently came back into my yeah. life. Like, you don't know me that way. Yeah, he you wasn't, know what I mean? Yeah, he wasn't like he was like, Running from the law. He wasn't an <laughs> absent. He wasn't an absent father. Let's put that out there. He, he was, was not an absent father. He, he was, was military. a military man, and he had things to do, uh-huh. and he was there for his son when he could be. Yes. So the, yep, I yep. don't. I don't want people thinking like, oh, he he had a deadbeat ass daddy. No, Where he was around the his corner. His dad is the furthest thing from deadbeat. So yeah, he was around the corner. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't there. Yeah. So <laughs> doesn't child support. Okay. So you think? So let's just. Let's just overall your your idea. You said yes, it definitely affected your childhood. Definitely affected your adult yeah, life yeah, and be, relationship. Why did it affect your relationships though? Yeah, be, we yeah, we talked about the rest of it. Because you 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 think it's this way, and then when it doesn't go that way, you're just you get flashbacks of being younger and seeing it a certain way. It's like being in a family where um. Can you just give us an example? I am. I'm, oh. I'm it's like being in a family that has a, uh, you, you grow up and your mom and dad are always loving. Wait, their, uh, we want a, a personal example. Something that you're like, it, it relates to you. Why it affected your relationship. What are relationships, whether it be oh. friendships or in, like I said, intimate relationships. Like what, what's something um, as an example that happened Oh, okay, okay, cool. Yeah, like, my mom is a fun, like, a, my mom's fun. Like, she likes to go out and do certain stuff. She likes to bowl. She likes to play games. She's like, she's not your typical woman as far as, like, hanging out with. Like, she does the movies and stuff. It's not always, like, wine and dime and everything. So when you get, when I got older and I was dealing with women that wasn't like that, I was just like, what the fuck? Like, what's your problem? Like, why are you not into this or why are you not into that? So by me seeing my mom do that, and that's how she was when she was, when when I was growing up, I just assumed that every other woman needed to be that same way. And when they wasn't like that, it it kind of like struck me the wrong way. Like, well, what what do you mean you don't like to have fun? What do you mean? Oh, you so like you that? were that man that thought every woman was supposed to be your mama, basically. Not my mom. Have the same type of energy. To be like your mom. Not to be like my mom. Have the same type of energy like my mom. Uh, <laughs> but situ because that's all I knew, you know, there wasn't, you know. Okay, but was that a negative or a positive for you? It was a negative, is what you're saying. It was a negative because it hurt you because it. What did it? But how did that affect your relationship? What did that do to the relationship? Because when it wasn't, when it it didn't go the way that I thought it was going to go. Arguments happen. Turn into arguments. Yeah, it's like what the fuck? Like you boring? Oh, I'm boring. Yeah, but it's like yeah, you. I'm so boring. Yeah, you, what you mean? You don't like to eat sushi, or you don't like to eat this, or you don't like to go out and have fun, or you don't want to go play games, or you don't want to go to Dave and Buster's or whatever. Man, if you don't go ahead. So you you wanted it your way or no way? My way or no way? Mm. My way or the highway? Mm. And I mean, then it wasn't really highways, but uh, you, it was. Pfft. It was like your way or. They're going somebody else's way. Yes, that's what it you know. Up, and yeah. then, and then when problems happen in the relationship, it was like, well, why, what the hell? Like, what the, what the, what the fuck is going on? Like, what, what did I do? Now you start questioning yourself. Like, am I not the the man that I'm supposed to be, or am or I that not? I thought I was? Yeah, you know. So, yes, mentally, uh, my mom's relationships or anything that I grew up emotionally. With, yes. Not so much mental wise, but emotionally, it fucked you up. Yes, yes, because I am sensitive, a, as, sensitive fuck. as hell, and I get angry really fast. And mm. um, yeah, that temper. I got a really bad temper. You and, fucked up that temper. And I'll slam your ass after the cameras go off. <laughs> <laughs> but and and it's not something that you can snap off at the end of the day. It's something that you have to work on. It's, you have to go get. You come a far away. Hey, I used to get mad. I used to have an attitude. It, it, it like, wasn't an attitude. Like he's that type of person. When he got mad, he would throw stuff. And I used to be like, "Bro, you're gonna, you're like, you're gonna ruin our whole place." Like, I used to this be like shit ah, gotta, trash can. This shit ah, gotta stop. Ah, computers. Ah, it didn't make it better because I used to laugh. Like, yeah, cause she's an asshole. 
when he would get mad, I would laugh because the shit was hilarious. Like you're gonna first of all, people that pick shit up and throw <laughs> it when they're mad, that shit's hilarious to me. <laughs> you're gonna ruin your own shit because your own attitude. Oh, right? I know. Remember uh, my, my laptop? My, <laughs> my laptop ain't had no screen for like two years. Yeah. That shit was crazy. Yeah, because we couldn't afford a new one, so it was like... Ah. So the effect of your childhood was that you were praised so much to the point where you thought, as an adult, everybody should still be doing the same shit because that's all you knew. That's all I knew. And that turned into arguments. Arguments turned into cheating and breaking up and all this other shit. That's fucked. Bars! You gonna have to stop with those buttons. Yo, that doesn't make sense. You were just that was the flow. You you sounded like Nas from I'm back an artist, in the day. okay? <laughs> I'm not a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. Um What about you? Ooh. So for How me, much time? Matter of fact, let's hump. Okay, cool. We got time. Care. So for me, uh just off of a personal basis, okay. She um the mic back. <laughs> much okay. My childhood, first of all, hands down, 100%, it affects your relationships, Mm -hmm. uh, friendships, and everything else. Um, I feel like when it comes to me, my childhood affected me more... um, I don't want to say like I have an issue trusting people. I'm just... No, 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 no. I don't have an issue trusting people. I am just very cautious when it comes to trusting people. Because because my um my own siblings weren't the most trustworthy of siblings, if that makes sense. I, I agree. So like example. Um we, as kids, there was a time when me and my sisters decided we're going to call a family meeting because we felt like some shit needed to be talked about. Mm-hmm. As a group, we have been having conversation, right? When the family meeting was called, I was the only one that spoke up. And I wasn't, I wasn't voted in as the spokesperson for the group. It just happened that way because... We're in front of mommy and daddy now. Nobody has shit to say. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, well, damn, I can't, like, y'all supposed to have my back. That happened twice in my childhood. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I remember a time my sister tricked me into telling her one of her Christmas gifts. Mm -hmm. And That's fucked up. I'm sorry. And it it really is because what happened was that she told me if I told her, then she would tell me. Mm-hmm. You know, and so I'm like, okay, cool. At this point, I think I was like eight, nine years old. And so um, when she, when I told her, instead of her telling me, she goes, ooh, uh, LaQuisha told me what my, what my person got me because we did Secret Santa amongst us siblings. And instead of her getting in trouble, because I'm the younger sister, mm-hmm. I got sent to my room. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that's fucked up. Like, as a parent, I would have never put... The kid, you know, I would have never did that to me as as the parent. I would have been like, why would have been her? The, right? It would have manipulated been, her, right? It would have been the other person that got in trouble, but instead it was me. And you're older. And you're older. You should have known better over mm-hmm. her. Yes. But instead, I got in trouble. I got sent to my room, and it was like that was some fucked up. So that came from okay. So I already can't trust my sisters. Mm-hmm. I can't trust my parents because you're supposed to have my back. At the end of the day, that should have been some shit that was handled totally different that's just how i feel about it um and so growing up Mm -hmm. you know into my teen years and stuff with my sisters our relationships dwindled because of shit like that yeah um and then it just made me with people outside of my family it definitely put me in a state of i'm not fucking with you because i see right through the bullshit you know what i mean like I'm not about to sit here and be like, I'm not that type of person that's going to be like, I see your potential. Yes. I see what you're showing me. But I'm opposite of that. I'm not talking about you. We're talking about me. Let me finish mine and then you can continue with whatever you're trying to say because I'll let you finish before I speak. Okay. (laughs) Um, So yeah, definitely when it came to like 
um, not necessarily trust issues, but trust issues, if you will. Yeah. Because it put me in a in a state of mind of like everybody's not your friend. Mm-hmm. Um, I I'm I I now I'm able to make friends very easily. I think that that messed with my social skills a little bit too. Yeah. Because growing up in school, I didn't have a lot of friends. I think that a lot of that was due to the fact that. Um, I just rather not yeah. deal with the extra shit that comes with having friends. Um, you talking about like the... Yeah, if I can and can't trust you. Because, okay. I mean, you know, people are people are shady. Yes. Um, and then going into relationships, you kind of just like... I, I don't know. I was kind of like, like with you. Mm-hmm. You only have to show me something one time. Yeah. And you either are, you're going to correct it or you're not going to correct it. But I'm not going to be the one that's going to be like babying the situation Mm -hmm. or you don't get full trust or you don't even have trust until I, you know what I mean? Like it, it definitely made me kind of like side eyed people a lot. Oh, I know. A lot. I know. A lot. Um, You'd be like, I don't like him. I'd be like, what the fuck did he do? I can see his face. It was no, don't say that. <laughs> it wasn't like I could see his face, but it's like you don't see. Like it was a lot of times where like he would do shit for people. Like it was a point when when we first got together, he was shooting mini- music videos. Oh shit! And in particular, there was this guy. I won't say names, but you know, because I don't, I don't have an issue with it. But I won't say names. Mm-hmm. But um, there was this guy he shot a music video for. And I remember him specifically telling the guy 500. Mm -hmm. But I told him, like, people in Vegas, bro, like, they're shady as fuck. Like, Mm -hmm. they don't care. It's all about them. Like, they don't care. And um, I remember telling him, like, don't, don't, I wouldn't do it. Like, that's just, I wouldn't do it. But because our backgrounds are different, totally our, different. You yeah. know, our upbringing and things that we've been through are different. My trust level or my uh, bullshit meter is here, and his is down here. And um, ended up getting gypped. Dude was like, "Oh, I thought you said 50. And it's like, "Bitch, how you get fifty from five hundred? <laughs> that shit don't even sound the same." And that put like that caused rifts within our relationship because it was like you out here letting these people tell you what they want to tell you. And here it is. I'm trying to tell you what it really is. Mm -hmm. Like you're not hearing me, but you listening to these people. And so it was like, there goes like that trust, that trust level again, you know, the shit that I've already been through with my family and in my upbringing is shit that I now have to go through with you and I shouldn't have to go through that, Mm -hmm. you know, because if we supposed to be this, that, and the other, then let it just be that. Um, so yeah, I definitely think that, uh, and then there's just shit that like my parents did, um, that made that when I grew up, I was like, I'd be damned if I was like that, Yeah, you know, or, I would never do that to my kids or I would never do that to my significant other Mm -hmm. um, or say that to my significant other or say that shit to my, like I would never. So it definitely changes like your perspective of on life. Like for when you get older, like there's just shit that happens when you're a kid that, that, that makes you look at, it helps you to see your future for what you want. Yeah. I mean, there's there's one there's one uh situation that I wish would have happened with my mom. Mm-hmm. Um as far as when I was picking my career when I was leaving high school, mm-hmm. by her knowing me who I was as a person and by you know, seeing how I grew up and stuff, I wish she would have been like, "No." Instead of being like, my son has complete um, free, what is it, what is it, that you can make your own choices and that mm-hmm. is, and but it's like, you know your kid, you know they're not going, it's like, come on now. Unless you don't know your kid. I know, but that's what I'm saying. My mom knew exactly who I was as a person. Mm-hmm. She should have, we should have had that conversation of like, 
no, you need to be doing something with uh, arts and entertainment and like, what are you trying to be an accountant for? <laughs> what does that have to do with our conversation, though? The, the, this this is an actual like um, things that that happen when you, in your childhood that you wish that that messed up your future. It wasn't no, I mean, but that didn't affect your relationship. It, it did because but it's, it didn't. But you could yes, because you got to think that you being able to pick where what school or or what you wanted to be in life affected your relationships. How? Because it still was it still was a free minded thing that that was going on me growing up by her always praising me and saying hey. This is a good idea. This is a good idea. I'm glad you did this. I'm glad oh, you so did this. Oh, so what you're saying is yeah. that you didn't have your own mind when yeah. it came to your mom. Yeah, so it should have been like, no, like, that's not what you like to do. Like, that's not what's going to make you happy. Like, you're a sociable person. Why are you trying to be an accountant? Okay, but or, how did that affect your relationships? In the, in, in, in the future? Yeah. I dealt with a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> not because you chose, not because you listened to your mom and went to school to be an accountant, though. That doesn't have anything to do with it. Yeah, a lot of pain and suffering happened because of that. Those choices that we did. No. But anyway, your pain and suffering was because of the females you chose to be with. Oh, you don't have disclaimer. To okay, disclaimer. Then disclaimer. Yeah, whatever. I think too. Mm-hmm. Um, Fair also had I don't want to say I have an attitude problem uh <laughs> bitch <laughs> I don't have an attitude problem but my attitude is one of a kind a 30 when it's only going up to 10 it's is definitely one of a kind but I think that that also comes from a lot of the anger that, um, that I with. that I had growing up as a child yeah I, I, yeah i was that i was i believe in giving your child choices mm-hmm. right um or allowing your child to express how they feel without feeling like if i say this my mom about to beat my ass or if i say this yeah my dad gonna come for me um and so that fear. that yeah without that fear without of fear. your parents and so for yeah. me um that wasn't an option in my household. See, I grew up with the fear of, of of not being able to express my feelings and certain stuff because of um why are you making that face? Are you sure? Yeah, like I didn't like I didn't express certain stuff to my dad because I feared on how he was gonna look at me or how he You're, was gonna But you expressed it to your you still had a parent to express how you like even to this day, you and your mom have conversations about sex like we set up as adults and have conversation with your mom and your grandma even your dad and we talk about like sex yes. that shit that even to this day i can't sit and talk to my parents about that's true that's true you know what i mean that's and true. so it's like um but that I, that was that was something that i feel it, I, I feel like that puts a um a halt yeah, because on a on a be child honest. because it's like you can't be honest I can't be I can't be honest about how I feel I can't express how I feel out of fear of if I'm gonna get my head knocked off my shoulder. Nah, I feel it. I feel it. I definitely. You know, and so it's like you keep this shit inside. Yeah. You know, and then one day you explode and you still get your head knocked off your shoulders. Yeah, because they trying to feel like what the hell is your problem? And it's like this is my problem because you've been treating me this for such a long time. Right. And now I'm expressing my feelings. Now you're making me right. feel like so I'm, I have this attitude. You know, okay, well I just ain't gonna say shit then. Don't fucking talk to me, bro. Like we don't have shit to talk about. And that makes an attitude. So I grew up with the mindset of like, I don't fucking care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I won't put. I don't care. <laughs> Okay, well, you can't, I don't care. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we don't want, you, I don't care. I don't care how you feel. I don't care what you want me to do. I don't care how you talking to me. Like, that shit that you're talking, it don't phase me. Like, I'm numb to how you feel. Since you don't care about how I feel and you don't want me to express how I feel, I don't give a fuck about how you feel and what you got to say. I feel like that's how it is now. It is, but that's what I'm saying. And it definitely, that was something that between us, you was like, you don't fucking care about nothing. You fucking right, I don't. <laughs> I used to say that all the like, time. Like, what the fuck you? What want do me? you care about? Like, what you want me to say? I don't know. I care like, about the be, tacos. I'm. We be like better. having a heat. It be like heated conversation. No, it'd be like discussion, mm-hmm. heated discussion. 
now it's now it's getting even more heated and he's getting mad. I'm like, why you mad? Like, these are my like real life expressions. Like, why you mad? And he's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, I don't understand what you're yelling for. And he's like, because you get it. And I'm like, I don't get it. And then I start laughing. And then he's like, oh, you think I don't care. I don't care. That that was that. That's not recent. It, I'm, no, I'm just saying. Oh, okay, no, I'm no, no, say, no. Yes, I'm just saying like that's, this is shit that we've been through because and this this is that's that sensitive aspect of you, mm-hmm. right? And then you got that attitude aspect of me where it's like I don't fucking care, bro. Like you're mad, so yeah, you know. Or I'm he's mad and I'm laughing. He's like, why are you fucking laughing? That makes I'm like, me so mad. <laughs> this shit is comical. That makes me so mad. Like this shit is laughs. like you. First of all, I'm not gonna argue with somebody who I can't argue with. You know, you go. You know, I always say like, you can't argue with an idiot. Like, I'm not about to argue with you, bro. Like, we're not gonna get anywhere. Nothing's gonna be accomplished. So I'm gonna. I don't care. Did you just call me an idiot? No, I'm just giving it. I'm about to say. I'm about <laughs> to just grab it. Did you just call me an idiot? So, so it's like, so I don't care. Like. What you want? How you? Why you want me? What you want me to feel? How you want me? To, this is why you said. What you want me to say? Mm. What do you want me to say? And I just that calm, and I think that that was like bad because it was like I'm holding this shit in. I used to tell him, okay, you go ahead, you keep going, you keep going. You say the wrong thing, I'm a, I'm gonna hurt your fucking feelings. I'm gonna you hurt gonna, your you feelings. You gonna fuck me up? That's what you about to say. No. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt your feelings. Yeah. And then there's no coming back after you. And I don't. I'm not one to purposely hurt somebody's feelings. But you're just speaking the truth. Intentionally. On how you feel. But if I've held back all this shit, right? I got shit coming at me left and right. And if I've held back for X amount of time, my attitude has now built up. This is shit that I had to like overcome Mm -hmm. in like the last few years. Like letting people get to me in the sense of like saying stupid shit it don't even necessarily be shit that hurt it's just stupid, stupid. you'd like, be like what the f- what like, i'd be why, like why relax do even, <laughs> why do you even so, open your mouth everybody's not intelligent okay like why open your mouth and speak like you sound dumb as fuck so it used to be to the point where i'd just be like all right go ahead you said the wrong thing i'm gonna hurt your fucking feelings all right, so. and if i hurt your feelings you ain't gonna want to be with me so you might want to stop mm-hmm I want to stop. Hey, let's get to these questions that we need to get back to. Okay. So. (sighs) All right. (laughs) So here we go. Okay. So the first one is she said, um, you make your life what you want it to be. It's called change. Let me start. Go ahead, you guys. Um, it's true to an extent, right? Okay. We all have things mm-hmm. from our childhood that now affect our adult life relationships. Yes. Whether it be you were molested as a child, you were abused, like beaten as a child, um, mentally, emotionally abused, um, mm-hmm. if you weren't allowed to express yourself, all of that shit, eventually in your adult, it, it, it gets to a point where I feel like it fucks with your mind so hard because nine times out of 10, your childhood is your immediate family, mm-hmm. whether, you know, or it's like aunts and uncles, like your first aunt, your first uncle, your mom, dad, brother, sisters, whoever, Cousins, even like your first cousins, grandma, grandpa. So, if I'm molested by my uncle, mm-hmm. that shit might I might not have ever gotten over it. Yeah. Or I got to a point where I dealt with it, but it's still something that is not fully buried. Like it's stuck. It's still stuck. It's still stuck with me. The, uh, um, it's a lot of times. Nine times out of ten, anytime there's a serial killer, a pedophile, anybody that's did something wrong, they always make sure that they talk about how they were brought up and what happened when they were a child and what effects that had to them when they grew up. 
Right. So like kids that say like, oh, my mom beat me. That's uh-huh. why I murdered her. That's why I murdered her. They always refer back to how they was brought up. A lot of, a lot, and a lot of people also deal with like post-traumatic stress. So yes. you think about it. If this should happen growing up, some people, some people develop depression. Mm-hmm. Some people develop post-traumatic stress. Mm-hmm. Some people are so like secluded from the world because of things like this, they meet somebody, mm-hmm. but they're bringing that baggage from their childhood into that relationship. Of course. And it's like, of course, if 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 I was beaten by my dad and I get with a man and the first time he go to put his hand up, I do like this. Mm-hmm. It's like, whoa. And it was like, I wasn't about to hit you. No, I was just playing. Mm-hmm. But you got that dramatic stress. I have that post traumatic stress from when my dad used to beat me. Mm-hmm. You I know what I mean? In. And so it's like. Yeah, you can, you can even, and some people might say, oh, well, that's something detrimental. Okay, but bitch, uh, me being talked about by my sisters or, or my mom not letting me express myself, to me, that could be detrimental because I could be an expressive person. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so some people, oh, well, that's not the same. Yes, it is. If it affects me later on in life, it's the same thing. Like, if I feel like I get with a man and I can't express myself, that's going to bring me back to my childhood. Yeah, I'm going to fucking like, hate to be in that relationship, in that situation, because that's all I knew growing up was like, no, you can't say what you want. You can't say how you feel. I don't care how you feel. This is just what it is. Because I say so. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so it's like, yes, you you can want to change your life, you can make your life, you you can want to make your life what you want it to be. That does not necessarily mean that it's going to be that. I, th- I feel as though because sh- they said a specific word. They said growth, right? No, they change. Said, they said change. Right. I think there's a difference between growth and change. Right. Growth just means, means you, you dealt with you it. You dealt with it. You moved on, but it's still going to bother you or have something. I wouldn't say moved on. I feel like moving on would mean that you've completely bear. I just say like you've dealt with, like it happened. Yes. You know, it happened, but I'm not going to dwell. It happened, meaning I dealt with it, mm-hmm. but I'm not dwelling on that situation. And I'm going to try the, I'm going to try to make the best, best of, of the rest really. of my life. Yes. And then when people say change, they make it seem like it's so easy because right. Change is probably one of the hardest things that you can do because you've been doing it this way for such Real a long change. time. Yes. Real change. Real change is not overnight. Yes. You know, and it's like, oh, won't you just change who you are as a person? There's people that, that move to a new city and still in had the same. In hopes of change. In hopes of change right. and still ended up doing the same exact things that they were doing, which yep. made them leave the place that they were at. Right. So the change in, in is such a hard thing to say. You know, right. and it's and it takes years. It takes it, it takes centuries. It takes it's there's some people that just they, that that made it to 60 and they just changed. Right. You know, it's like having it's like having money problems all the time. And if you don't remove yourself from what's giving you the money problems, you'll you'll always have money problems. Right. You know, so that's that's my feelings on on that response for yeah, that. So it's like yes and no. Like, yes, because. Yes, change is important, but mm. I have to build myself to get to that change, whether it be talking to a friend or mm-hmm. going to, to a, a, you know, to an actual therapist mm-hmm. or whatever church, whatever the case may be. Lord Jesus. Don't be so childish. Whatever the case may be, I still have to work myself toward change. If I really want to change, that's work. Mm-hmm. That shit is not like, like I've come a long way with my attitude, right? Oh, yes. Like. Yes. There's still times where I'll, I'm not going to say I flip, but like when people say stupid shit, I just like. And I, I gotta, look at you and be like. I go in. Like, I'm not, I've never been the type of person to really hold my tongue. And so when people say stupid shit, sometimes you just got to check them, mm-hmm. you know. But if it was me like eight, nine years ago, full fledged. Yeah, I'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Or what's, this, or what's, the next, what's the next one? Um, And then this guy says. Just a little, I think it mostly affects your confidence. So he's saying that your childhood, shit that happened in your childhood affects your confidence. True, okay? 100%. But then, homie, listen, your confidence 
later on is reflected in your relationships. Mm. If I am not, so let's say we get together, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't have, uh, let's say sexual confidence, because a lot of people have issues with sexual confidence. Mm -hmm. Let's say. Anybody over 18, hold, uh, close your ears. Shut up. Over 18? <laughs> I said, I, I, did I say over 18? You said over. <laughs> Even old people Stupid. be tripping. <laughs> um, Under 18. So um, you get older or whatever, and let's just say it's your first sexual encounter, right? You may, most people are probably a little nervous. Mm -hmm. Probably. I don't, I don't know everybody's sexual life, but um, you might be nervous, but you're not going to be like, oh my God. I don't want him to see my body. <laughs> oh my God. No. You know what I mean? Uh, I find, hearing a lot of conversations, people are like that. They're like smashing with their shirts on, smashing with socks on. Because right. They don't and wanna... so your confidence at some point, your confidence at some point has been uh kicked down somewhere. for for some for some for, reason for, yeah. for some reason because i don't feel like people are just born and they're like 10 years old and they're like i don't like myself yeah something somebody joking on you somebody says something right, to you somewhere and like, some something happened why you now feel the way that you do about yourself mm -hmm. later on if you if you feel how you feel, what you think other people gonna feel about the you? The same exact way. Like you can't be like, oh yeah, I married him, but um, I'm so insecure in my relationship. Like I don't have, you know. And it's it's not that he's done anything wrong ever. It's just I just I, maybe it's me, and it's like clearly it's you. It's you. <laughs> clearly it's you, and he's gonna be the one to tell you. Clearly it's you. Like I'm, I, I go to work and I come home, bro. Like that's it. And when we go out, we go out together. Like, yes. I'm not out here with my homies, and I don't go to, I don't say I'm going to work, and then I'm at some chick house. Like, that's never been the case. Yeah. But because you feel that way, because your confidence is what it is, because, oh, I don't know, maybe because you saw your mom and dad's marriage. Maybe your mom was cheating on your dad the whole time, mm -hmm. or maybe your dad was cheating on your mom the whole time, and that's just how shit worked in that household. And you grow up, and you just think that that's how relationships how work. How relationships. Cause You've already been fucked, because now. Because a lot of times people would be like, Oh, he's just like his daddy. He a player. And it's like, right. uh, if that didn't affect me as a child, then why should, why, why are you <laughs> throwing burdens on me from other people? Right. Oh, he, he's a Melvin. You know, he has a problem with us. Yeah. With so it's that. like your confidence in your, in yourself within your relationship. And, and they even do it with like, uh, alcohol, alcoholism. Like, oh my God, all the, all that family drinks a lot. It's like mm -hmm. you putting a, a, a stamp on that family because of how they grew up and what they did when they was growing up. Mm -hmm. So that uh, response is X. Yeah. So I said, um, your is, I said, yeah. So I told him, you know, okay, but more, more times than not, your confidence affects your relationship or relationships. Mm -hmm. He responds back and says, you need confidence to start. If you get practice in when you're younger, it gets easier as you find your level. At this point, I'm completely confused. <laughs> because your confidence is already down because they didn't knock you down when you was growing up. It's the whole point of the conversation. Your childhood, bro. Maybe he, maybe that was a miss, that was a miss, uh, a misplaced Comment, statement. a misplaced yeah. comment. Yeah, he was talking to somebody else. <laughs> Let's hope he was, because I honestly, I was so confused at that point. Like, huh? But this, this is definitely, I love the interaction. Yeah. I love the interaction. I love the, the, you know, the topics that people are tagging us in. We need more of that. We also need you to smash. It's that not that like we need too. more, bro. Like, damn, stop, stop saying like we need the people to help us with our. We don't need. We like it. OK, though. so make we, your we like say it, it the right way. We like we it. enjoy we when enjoy. you guys tag us and stuff. We it's enjoy. fun to see what other people want to talk about instead of us always ha coming up with shit that we just decides because this is stuff that we talk about like on, on a regular. regular. Yeah, this is stuff we talk about when we driving to Target. Right. <laughs> we be like, why we ain't got no mics and no uh, right. no audio like, stuff in here? But yeah, it, so yeah. we just like when other people chime in and they have stuff that they want to talk about because it's it's. I mean, some of these topics aren't things that um people are able to speak about. Yeah, you know, with their significant other or their families or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. So it's fun when you get to talk shit with the Melvins. 
Was that the outro? That was y'all just listened to. Talk that shit. With the Melvin. We out here. Yeah, yeah. Peace out. Peace in the Melvin.